Y'all hear the army of God behind me. When the sorrows of death come past me, the flows of ungodly men made me afraid. What do you want us to come back you for? Let's see some yes! Let thunder strike, let And now that I've seen it in the Bible, I'm going to take action. They didn't say nothing about that. Then we come over here and correct them and tell them they're wrong for not saying nothing. I'm sick of the drug dealers. We're sick of the gang bangers. We're sick of the drug of the white lords. We're sick of the damn GDs running our community. We're sick of the black man not having a job and sitting under the damn tree every goddamn day doing nothing. Thank you to the brothers of Israel for finally bringing the truth. What you want to be? Uh, animal scientist, that's good. That's good. We need black animal scientists because white people are taking the animals and doing their scientists and putting it back into your body is getting us sick. That's what right. COVID. What you call it? Uh, zoonosis. You got to stop that. You know what zoonosis is? You got to look it up. It's where they're taking animal DNA, mixing it with human DNA, coming up with diseases like COVID, like the bird flu. They doing this stuff to do what? To destroy the black community. Right. That's, right. That's what they doing. So we need more, uh, what you say? Animal scientists. So you can be like, oh, you know, the, you know their language? No, we ain't doing that. You got to stop them from killing us. Anything you want to be, you got to stop them from killing us, bro. They, they not studying this stuff to make the world better as far as us living in it. They're studying stuff to kill off the population of the Israelites. Black people, overpop colored people overpopulate the earth. No. And their job is to what? Exterminate us so they can live comfortably. The earth is overcrowded. This is why COVID came. This is why, uh, uh, give me some more of them diseases yes. came. Uh, AIDS. HIV, AIDS came. What else? Well, there you go, monkeypox came. What do you think they got? Why they call it monkeypox? Because they're they're messing with the DNA of a monkey with humans, and it's causing it makes a disease, it makes a bacteria, and once it's released out the lab, it's out there. Chicken pox. Some of this stuff got a cure, a vaccine, and some of it doesn't. All right, so we need more animal scientists, bro. That's a good thing to be. Stick with your goal, you can do it. All right. Where I had you at? All right. So go back to Proverbs chapter ten. I can teach young men all day. This is what we do. We got a conflict balance resolution. All right. Let me ask y'all this. Wake him up. Uh -uh. Go to All right. Here we go. You two big guys, right? I'm gonna give y'all a scenario, and you tell me how you handled it. He walk up to you and say something about his mama, right? He said, your mama big, fat, ugly, and black. She smoked crack. What you gonna do? You gonna do what? Say it in the mic. Does he deserve to be slapped because of something that came out of his mouth? Did, what he said, did that physically hurt you? It didn't, right? So why are you gonna physically hurt him? Come here, son. All right, so we gotta stop being that way. So he said something that offended you, right? What did he say that offended you? Just the scenario. He was talking about your mama that offended you, right? Now, are you supposed to slap him? Who all think he's supposed to haul off and slap or raise your hand? You think he's supposed to knock him out for talking about your mama? This is why a lot of young black men end up in prison or in de uh, in, uh, 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 dead. We're not thinking. Just because someone says anything about you, your mama, your daddy, does not give you the right to put your hands on him. Right. Words don't hurt real men. Right. Words don't hurt real young boys. You got to stop being emotional. All right? Now, the Bible is going to show you how to solve that problem. Listen. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 15. Moreover.
If thy brother shall trespass against thee. I trespass mean he violates you. He disrespects you. He says something that you didn't want to hear. Now, he said, now, if he says something, to, listen, bro. If he says something about you, listen. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. What the Bible say you're supposed to do? Now, read it again. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee. So if he violates you and disrespects you. Go tell him his fault. He said, go tell him his fault. Mean what he done wrong. Come on. Between thee and him alone. So the Bible says that you're supposed to pull him. You catch him by himself and you ask him. You let him know how that hurts. You see what I'm saying? Don't talk about my mom, bro. You know, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to get us kicked out of school. I don't want no whooping. You don't want no whooping. Let's respect one another. This is how we got to talk to one another. When someone talks about your your mom, you give me, you got me, young brother. You got me. What I say, do? You kind of lost. You you, you want to listen, right? You got to be attentive. If that brother violates you, talks about your mom, you should he haul off and slap you? No. All right. It says that he should tell you how you offended him alone, right? You agree with that? You agree with that? Just because somebody's talking about your mom, your brother, your sister, your cat, your dog, doesn't give you the right to hit anyone or become physically violent. This is why we have the Youth Violence Conflict Resolution. We are gonna show you how to solve the problem. You just go simply be a young man. You tell him, look, you offended me, bro. Don't be talking about my mom, all right? Don't be talking about my dad. Now, if you have to defend yourself, defend yourself after that. But go to him and him alone. Then if he don't want to hear you, read. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Now, if you got understanding, you be like, yeah, he right. I shouldn't have said that about his mom. I got emotional. I shouldn't have been talking about his parents, man. I don't want nobody talking about my mom, so I'm not going to talk about his mom. Listen. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more. Now, if he don't want to hear you, now you go get get you one or two witnesses. This is how the Bible tells us to solve problems amongst each other. Get you one or two witnesses and say, hey, he was talking about my mom. I told him not to do it. Now he's doing it anyway. All right? That in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it to the church. Now you go to your parents. All right, you go tell somebody, go tell the teacher. But y'all learn how to solve problems without violence. That's right. You understand that? Because it comes from what happens here, we, we think like that. And the first thing young black men want to do, if you can't fight, you go get a gun and you commit a, 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 a senseless act. You'll go kill somebody because you was emotional because somebody said something about your mother. You see what I'm saying? Or somebody do something small to you, when you get older, you're going to go look for a gun, young man. And you're going to sit up there and pull the trigger, not understanding the consequences that once that bullet projects out of that gun, you can't pull it back in that gun. And once that bullet projects out that gun, if you are in the wrong, you're going to jail for the rest of your life. That's what you got to understand the consequences of your actions on what you're doing. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.